Hey everybody, it is Tam Telling Tales, and yes, I am here again with another amazing actor. You have seen his face in movies like He Played Me, Not Left in Vegas, Undying Love, All the Shine, and Corruption. You guys want to hear more from Emery Law? I'm sure you do. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, it is Sam Telling Tales, and yes, I am here with this gentleman here, Mr. Emery Law. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Yeah. Now, before we start, we want to make sure that everyone knows that you should be subscribed to the channel. Make sure that you have subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you know every time that we have a video upload so you can continue to see videos like this one with actors such as Emery. <laughs> Okay, so now that we got the shameless plug out of the way, <clears throat> we can see more about you. Let's go. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, so Emory, we always open up the show with the fun game of preference. Oh, I thought you were going to say we, we dance or something like that. I mean, uh, it's still early. It's okay. Yeah. I'm yeah. whatever. Oh. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, with the game of preferences, it's really simple. I'm gonna give you one or the other for you to say, and you just let me know which one you prefer. Okay. All right. West side or east side? West side. L. George's or Nikki D's? Nikki D's. Shane Park or the Aretha Franklin Amphitheater? The Aretha. What? I, I, I'm trying to remember, like Shane Park, I thought that was the same thing. It, okay. Where's the Where's the other it one? Is, at? No, it's okay. Yeah, I'm so, like that's the same. Okay, thing. so boom. Oh, that's the new name to it. It's the new name to it. Okay, see that so was a trick question. Mm -mm. So listen, y'all, we got to preference this, okay? So he been gone. He been moved off to LA <laughs> on this, okay? So this is a native Detroit right here, okay? But you know how they get. They move on off and everything, and then they act like they didn't forgot stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> Emory, yes. They decided that they was going to change the name of Shane Park to the Aretha so Franklin you throw me a Amphitheater. Little, a, a trick question like that. You want me to edit that out? No, no, no. That, that's, oh, okay. That's it. Yeah. It's going to be in there. Y'all going to see it. Boom. There we go. So, which one you prefer? Both. <laughs> <laughs> no, Shane Park. I mean. Yes, we all go with Shane Park. You all the school, so we go with yeah. Shane Park. Um, call or text? Text. Driver or passenger? Driver. Laptop or desktop computer? Laptop. Bernie Mac or Steve Harvey? Bernie Mac. Mexico or Jamaica? Jamaica, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sunrise or sunset? Sunrise. BMW or Mercedes? Mm, Mercedes. Aretha Franklin or Anita Baker? Oh. Mm. I'm about to go with Anita. Okay. Joe to see your boys to men. Joe to see. Okay. Um, Biggie or Tupac? Tupac. All day. LeBron James or Kobe Bryant? Kobe Bean Bryant. A button down or a polo shirt? <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess now a polo. I wear polo now it's a polo. Yeah. Okay, Matt Lott or Perry Mason? Neither. I was forced to watch that as a kid with my grandparents. Don't say it like that. Why? You okay. are you still watching? <laughs> Everybody know Matt Lock. Really. Listen, so you clearly ain't looked at my wall. Turn, turn, turn around, turn around. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Matlock. Yes. There we go. That's my Good answer. Ah, I still stream that. There we go. On VHS tapes. Don't do that. All right. Because it is on Amazon Prime. <laughs> Thank you very much. It good. is? It is. Nah, is it, do it look like it was like dubbed off of a tape? No, absolutely not. It's don't, clear? Don't do Matlock like okay. that. Matlock okay. is cool. He was black on the inside. Yeah, I really do think that he was. Yeah. Like my 
My white granddaddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm, stage play or film? Film. Hmm. White bread or wheat bread? Wheat bread. Frosted Flakes or Captain Crunch? Neither, but um, I might have to say Frosted Flakes. Okay, sweet tea or lemonade? Lemonade? <laughs> Where do you get these? <laughs> lemonade, Oh, yeah. my crazy little mind. It's so random, right? I like it. <laughs> Pumpkin or sweet potato pie? Don't you ever put those in the same category. Sweet potato pie. Oh, okay. Listen, you got a little feisty there on that pumpkin, one. That that's that's evil. You feel okay? okay you feel away. <laughs> got it. He feels away. Don't he? Don't you got it here. looking a certain way, and then it's just like you just biting on the couch. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, what you're saying is you don't like pumpkin. Hell right? no. All right, gotcha. Okay. Uh, Tubi or Netflix? Tubi, it's free. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, because Tubi is with it and Netflix is on its way out. I ain't Netflix gonna hold is you. trash, yeah. Um, regular Law and Order or Law and Order SVU? SVU. Beard or no beard? Beard. Better head. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Facebook or Instagram? Neither, but if I had to choose Instagram. Okay, Instagram or TikTok? I don't even have a TikTok, so Instagram. Okay. And last question. <clears throat> Tam Telling Tales or any other platform? You know what? Tam Telling Tales, of course. I mean, I, you know, hold on. We're going to do that again. <laughs> Triple T. You can't, you can't be taking all this time. Because I was really, you know, my mother has a podcast. Oh. I'm just playing with you. Know? <laughs> I'm just so we're going to ask this question again. <clears throat> Tam Telling Tales or any other platform? Tam Telling Tales. Yes. Of course. I love Nothing it. Nothing else. Ooh, y'all heard that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that was a fun game, don't you think? Absolutely. Okay, and we just do I'm that. I'm still mad so. about Shane Park, though. I'm like, oh, she's tricking me. That, I wasn't was tricking funny. you. So it was just really about, you know, what you prefer to call it. So some people might Yeah, it would definitely it be everything. Shane Park. They're like, you know, it's going on time. All right, cool. We're going to Shane Park. But I mean, yeah. Aretha, still a respectful name. I think that's for the, the newer, uh, lighter people that invaded mm-hmm. downtown. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You right. Because we all are still true to Shane Park. Absolutely. But we get it. We get what they did there. Yeah. So that game, of course, is just for us to get a little bit more familiar with you in a lighthearted way. Right. But I still want to give you opportunity to let us know more about you from a professional aspect. Mm-hmm. So why don't you tell us a little bit about Emery before being an actor? Emery before being an actor. Mm-hmm. Um, now, what was you doing? Modeling. Was you? Who are you modeling for? Sean John, boss. Come um, on in. Uh, mm. It's a few of um. Come on, model but yeah, money. But I mean, they don't make no money. Oh. First of all, they... I feel like you're just saying that because so I don't ask you for five dollars. Is well, that got, what it is? Hold on, let me, I'm gonna look in the couch on the break. <laughs> Don't do me. <laughs> Hold on, now wait. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, I was I was modeling, um, sales rep at the Sprint store. Then lived in New York and modeled. You like more of a T-Mobile guy? Disrespect? No, uh, oh. that's not disrespectful because I used to always say that back in the day. All the T-Mobile guys was cute. Really? All of them. See, I wouldn't have been looking for that. I was. Okay. Yep. Uh, and they used to have a kiosk at the mall. And we used to always say, like, dang, they got a new employee over there. He cute. <laughs> yep. You at Northland? Different. No, this was, I went to school in Ohio. So this was at a, this was at a mall in Ohio. Okay. Yep. And even when I came back here, go to that T-Mobile store. It was cute. Wow. You would have fit right in. Yeah, yeah. I used okay. to work in Roseville. Okay. Well, Sprint it is. Yeah, that was back then. before back before day, back acting. Yeah, that okay. Was... So when did you start acting? Two thousand five. Two thousand and five, mm-hmm. doing stage play. 
I did my first stage play. Shout out to Kamal uh, Smith and Des Cortez Crenshaw. We all did a play called Love Is at 1515 Broadway downtown, right next to the beer company. That's what's up. Yeah, so right at that point, I said, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm rather I'm a uh, do acting versus modeling. Like that just wasn't my thing. I ain't, I've never really been in the fashion, and I couldn't. My face, I can't really change certain stuff. So all of that, like the angle. No, we want the <laughs> ninety degree angle. That ain't my thing. It ain't your thing, mm-hmm. but acting was your thing. Absolutely. Okay, and so we did stage plays. Did you do just the one and then go straight into film, or did you stay with stage plays for a while and then transition? I did one. I did I did that stage play, and then I did um, Rules to the Game. That was Kamal Smith's uh, okay. play that he put on himself. Then I moved to New York, oh. modeled, and then that's when I fully got into film or yeah. acting. Okay. Yeah. So you got fully into acting around 2005. 05, 06. Okay. Yeah. And do you remember what your first film was? The first film I ever did was called The Light. And we shot that at Wilberforce University. That was written by uh, Kamal Smith. Yep. It never came out. Cause oh. I don't, we, we don't know what happened to the footage. The production company just kind of. Shut up. That's good. Yep. So we shot that college campus. Just young and trying to make it happen. Man, that's crazy. I told Kamal when he was here, like, we might know some of the same people. You went to Wilberforce? I did not. I went to Wright State. Okay. Wright State was the PWI in the area, so we always went to Wilberforce and Central State to play with them because. So, at the beginning of the show, we did talk about and mention some of the films that you have worked on, but that is far from the total. Like, Hmm. you have been in tons and tons and tons. I wouldn't say tons. You have. You really have. Well, I appreciate that. Yes. Like, do you know how many you've actually been in before? I think total productions, probably like 25 or 26 or something like that. See what I'm saying? That's a lot. Yeah. That's a, well, I guess, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. Within what time frame? Like a short one, yeah. Yeah, maybe That's like a lot. eight years or something like that. Listen, you 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 stay on the road. When we first met, you were here for the premiere of Corruption. Yes. And now here you are back in town. You're about to start filming and everything. We're gonna talk about that a little bit later. But I want to stick with, you know, what you have currently already done and some of the roles and stuff that you are maybe interested in pursuing. So. Of all of these 20 some odd films that you have done, do you have a favorite? An absolute favorite? Mm-hmm. Um, that's hard. Mm. I mean, <clears throat> I have three favorites. Total. Okay. So three What's that are like. Three? Top three, not left in Vegas. That was with the fam, you know, like that was, that was like a passion project. We all was on board. We, that looked fun. We had a ball (laughs) shooting that, um, corruption. Okay. And I enjoyed that because I just seeing Teddy's vision come to life and him trusting us with it. That's, you know, that's an unmatchable feeling. And then undying love. I, cause I, I, I think these were just fire, you know, um, like mm-hmm. he just his skills range and everything, but like, I hadn't been on the screen with him like that before. So that, that movie right there, that was one of those, like, damn, that was a good ass story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was mad at you on that. Scene. Were you? I was. But I mean, I did my job. You did your job. Yeah. Cause I was mad at you. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be trying to act surprised. You know what you did. You know, but here's the thing. Hmm. Now, let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. So, whoever that guy was that was at Will before, she um, just kind of. Hold on, wait. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't about me, okay? Uh, let's stay on task. Okay, okay. You, okay. So, what I'm saying is, you got a guy who's from the past, your first love, 
you got the new guy. He treats you well, everything. It's the whole Jasmine Sullivan thing where it's like, if I could, you know, that whole song, right? Say, Emery. But you telling me you're not going to at least see what the dude from the past talking about? That's pride written all over your face. And that's fine. You know, but I'm just telling you, most women would be like, I'm going a, I'm to a at least see. I'm going to see, you <laughs> like, know. like. No, not all of us. Okay. Huh. Hmm. Well, if you don't know what we're talking about, <laughs> Undying Love, it is now streaming on Tubi, and you should probably have already seen it. If you haven't, um, watch it. That's all I got to say about that, okay? It's a good okay. movie. It is. It's a very good movie. I enjoyed it, and you made me mad. Okay, so um, you've had some great roles, Emery. Are you looking forward to playing any particular type of role in the future? Yes. Um, I want to play, like, that thriller type of role. Um, you ever, well, kind of, like, similar to, no, similar to, like, a good man the wrong one. Oh, definitely. Thriller. Yeah, because you get, you know, it's just a different avenue, you know, to go down. I'm not saying that it's like passive aggression. I want to get out on film. It's just more of exploring that side of just like craziness. All right, now. Because um, <laughs> I'm saying we didn't have some conversations, some heated ones in this very room about the two movies that you just named. So I don't know how I'm going to feel about you going and playing them type of roles, okay? You know, like Michael Ely, the him, the movie with him and Sana. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I said, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about you playing them type of roles. I want you to be the good guy, Emma Marie. That's cool. I mean, that's uh, yeah. You yeah. basically what I'm getting from you is I got range and I want to do Absolutely. something else. Absolutely. Oh, can I cuss on them? You. Oh, I, I, <laughs> yeah. Okay. You're fine. I didn't want to. You're know, good. The church was watching. The book they club. probably are. Yeah, they probably are. They be cussing us. I know that they be cussing. Trust me, that's where I learned how to cuss us. You see what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I went to and that's why they church. be. I should have asked you that Baptist or Kojic. I Baptist. Was, forced? I mean, yeah, I went to Unity, Unity Baptist Church off time. That's where I grew up in. Come on, then, West Side. Yeah. Oh, so you churchy? Little My bit? mother was. You a little churchy? Nah. You're not even a little churchy? Define churchy though. Know. Okay, like, because I'm very, I'm very connected with God. Absolutely, I definitely talk to Jesus every day, all day. But no, when I say churchy, like, if somebody starts singing one of the old hymns, you can join in and start harmonizing. I would join in, hands. trying to be funny and probably get slapped. But oh. that, yeah, so it's like I know that that world, okay. but I ain't walk around like oh, I mean, the little, little small and... Bibles that they get. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, okay, it's fine. Just thought I'd see, yeah. see where you were. All right, so you about fifteen percent got it. <laughs> Twenty-five. Okay, then I will give yeah. you that quarter. Yeah. I'll, I'll give you that quarter. 25. Okay, then that's fine. Oh, so then I mean, you could probably play a preacher. Yeah, yeah, I could. Um, could see, but you know a what? A crazy preacher. But here's the thing about that. See, a crazy preacher. I could. Part of yeah. me is fearful of that. Now, there's a lot of lanes in films that you can reenact, emulate everything, but I'm kind of scared to play with religion on film. And that's just Understood. that's just my. My personal, you know, preference where I'm like, I don't know. But Understood. if I feel led to, I would. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you looking at being in a thriller movie soon. Okay. I want to be in a thriller uh, mm -hmm. action, of course. I could definitely see you as an action hero. Yeah. I want to do some action. Yeah. You know. I can see that. Yeah. Those main two. Action and um, like thriller. Uh, the law enforcement stuff. I mean. Yeah, I'll do that. That's that's fun too. I mean, that's cool, but I like superhero. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. The law enforcement don't give me much room to yeah. play in. You know? Like, would you want a cape if you was a superhero, or no? Nah? No, I don't think I need no, a just cape. A nice, nice little. I kind of want to be like, uh, what was that dude? Hancock, Will Smith. Okay. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Not, Did you yeah. ever um, watch the boys? I have seen the boys. 
I can see you. Uh, I can see you being on the boys. Yeah. Yes. I'm with it. I mean, I like, could, oh, I can see that. I'm trying to stay in shape. You know, I'm trying to stay ready. Right, cause he not drinking. <laughs> gotta keep he my, not. My mind gotta be. You know, we we start filming on on Monday, so. You do start filming on Monday. Hey, I'm locking in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, is there any particular, um, maybe film director or actors that you would love to work with? Um. Here in Detroit, I would love to work with. I like Ebony Tate's. I think her work is she is, my favorite. It's fire, yeah. Yeah, she's my like favorite. I like her work. Um, I'm trying. I think I work with a lot of guys already. Um, and then in Hollywood, is there anybody in Hollywood? I would love to work with uh, Idris. Um, okay. And female wise, I don't know yet. That's uh, I got to think on that. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> I uh, want to shift things a little bit. <laughs> this the curveball. And um, just you know, throw in a little fun game again. Okay. Now this particular game, right? You got props. Oh, oh. This game we played this before here a little bit. It's called "It's Up There," well, and I this am? is a Detroit game. Oh, okay. So all of these questions are going to be based around Detroit. Okay. And I know that you have, you know, been here and gone and come back and left again. <laughs> and so I just want to test your memory on some things, Emory. The lingo? We're going to see what it is. I, I may or may not know what's on these cards. And so I'm just going to ask you and see if you know. I'm. A, can I call my, like a lifeline, like my little nephew? If you would like to um, do that, we'll let you. You, not, but you got to promise to put it on speaker phone. Well, he's only 12. No, oh, yeah, well, just, no. That's yeah. okay. That's now, probably not for him, man. This, yeah, this, this is actually a drinking game. It's definitely not what? for him. I need to look. Okay. Yeah, it's but you're there. not drinking, though. <laughs> I, look. I, I put my pinky up, too. Mm, I was like, you fancy with the Coca-Cola. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You fancy with it. Okay. So you ready? It's up there. All right. I'm going to start easy. I'm going to start easy for you. Okay. This is the easy one. Choose one player, and I'm choosing you, um, to name the major casinos in Detroit. Oh, MGM, Greek Town. Yeah. Five seconds. Motor City. Boom, there you go. Okay. Look at you. Yeah. Proud of you. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I saw it out the peripheral. Oh, so basically what you're saying is you're cheating? No, Carmen just being a supportive help to, you know. Cheating. Okay. But I got it though. So that that counts. It's up there. It's up, it's up there now. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 All right. Um, next question. And you have to stay looking at me. For these 10 seconds, name three mayors of the city of Detroit. Call me uh, Kwame and Dugan. All right. Look at him. <laughs> they was up there. Okay. All right. You may or may not know this one. Not, see, the doubt. I should stop doing that, shouldn't I? I like I'm gonna that. have faith in that's fuel. All right, well then you won't get it. Um, <laughs> spell this Detroit street, Casual. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold on, let me think. Oh, uh, oh, C A D I E U X. Look, look at, at him. See, it's up See? there. Okay, I'm so proud of him. I probably only really got two more to go. See, you would have got them all. <clears throat> that was that's hard. Okay, well we gonna see. 
Name the artist that created the song Takes Money to Make Money. Stretch Money. Okay, well then, all right, it was up there. Okay, everything <laughs> money forgot. To make money. Okay, then. Get away from me. Well, baby, That's the hustle the song. Yeah, yeah. where he yeah. at? He's still rapping? I don't know, but that was a jam. He need to be in the movies now. Listen. Yeah. He do. He yeah. do a little pop up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Come on in, stretch money. Okay. This is the last one. You got all of them right thus far. I think you are the only person who has come here and has actually gotten this far through the game and gotten their questions right. See, and you thought I was from Orchard Lake. You know what? But you might. You, you It's one <laughs> more left, buddy. It's one more left. We're going to see what happens okay. here. <clears throat> Name three Babyface Ray songs. <laughs> uh, what's the thing? Um... Family over money. What is that? Love, uh, family over whatever. You know what I'm talking about. So that count as one. Um, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I knew it. I know that song though. Oh, family yeah. over loyalty, loyalty over family. We got oh, you on that one. Yeah, you did. What were the answers on? Uh, don't worry about that. Okay. <laughs> I'll do that. Just know that you were almost there. But I, that's a 90. That's you, a 90 percent. Actually, it was five questions. That's an 80 percent. Okay. But uh, take 80. you still got a B. You passed. I got a B plus. I passed well. That's a good progress report. 80 is not a B plus, sir. It is the very bare but basic it wasn't to a, a was, C. Because well, 1 percent down, you're 79, baby. That's a C. So it's not a B in plus. In Detroit public schools? <laughs> <laughs> That's a 91. <laughs> I mean. Okay, well, I'm going to let you add that with. Okay, okay. So, we had us a little bit more fun. And so, let's go back to talking about some of the current films that you have out right now. Some of them that just recently dropped that are mm-hmm. on Tubi. Mm-hmm. And so, the first one I want to talk about is... Da-da-da-da. All the shine. Fire. Was that your first like horror thriller film? I wanna yeah, I think so. Mm. Yeah. And I mean working with Sierra, Sierra Angeli is fire. Yeah. Um, like she don't ever miss. Yeah. And Goodness. uh I mean Diesel was in it, Jazar Riches, mm-hmm. Casey Clark, um, Antoine Jackson. Like it we had a nice little lineup in that, but I was just happy to be a part of it because it was something different. It definitely was different. Yeah. You know, a, a Detroit film that did not give Detroit at all. Yeah. I was like, where they at? Jury Road and Lasher. Wait a minute. That was a uh, that's a black owned horse ranch over there. Um, one of the original Buffalo Soldiers is really yeah yeah okay. Yep, Joy. Well, and I'm Lasher. learning something. Or La- Joy- you call it Lasser. No, I call it last. Oh, I was about year. to say, play with me then. Okay. Okay. All right. okay. All right. You know what it is. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad to learn that. Yep, that was at a horse ranch over there, and we shot the whole movie there. So there's like a whole wooded area behind it. We shot all in that, and also in the um in the horse ranch, the barn. Now, something I found very different about that film was that, with it being, of course, where it was located Mm -hmm. had no idea that that was in detroit so Mm -hmm. glad to learn that i'm definitely going to be checking that out and then also the cross between the time frames because like from one moment to the next you couldn't necessarily tell what year it was and we had the slight accents too Mm -hmm. yeah i said are we in michigan are we in detroit or are we down south exactly I didn't know. That was the feel it was supposed to have. And I, it was partially a period piece mm-hmm. um, showing me being the the spirit of a dead Buffalo soldier. So mm-hmm. it's like that takes you back to a certain era as well. So it just kept bouncing back and forth, which I like. You got to watch that like maybe two or three times to really like get it. Yeah. 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 Because admittingly, I, I knew what your character was. But once you just said that he was a Buffalo soldier, I missed that. Mm-hmm. So, you can yep, see the I gotta uniform. go back. So that was an original uniform I was wearing. 
Yeah. Oh, they did a whole lot with that film. Yeah, that's why I said there's, oh, that there's film, so many gems in there, but it yeah. could go over your head. So you literally have to go back and piece it back together. Have they did any type of documentary about filming that movie? That's you a good of? question. Um, I'm not sure. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good question. That's, that would the be a good idea the if they too, haven't, because yeah. it has a lot of gems. Mm-hmm. You can just drop about five of them on us right now. Absolutely. Yeah. So thank you for sharing that. That movie oh, was I'm excited fun. to go back and watch it now. That movie was fun. Yeah. yeah. We dealing with real horses. Yeah. One of the one day one of the horses got scared of the actual boom mic, snatched the whole fence off while I'm standing right here, Ooh. and started running around the whole uh, ranch, dragging the whole uh, piece of wood with him. Yeah. Oh, y'all and the ranch that, owner baby. was just calm. He was just walking toward him, telling him to calm down. We all ran. Uh-huh. Yeah, because yeah. we weren't insured, you know. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, so I don't want to get hurt. hurt. Yeah, because the way Doctor Bills was set up, absolutely. I Paul Emery, you would have been out here just in a cast and everything, right? Just limping. Your next movie, man. Oh, it'd have been terrible. I just have to play a dude in a wheelchair. Mm. Yeah. That would have been unfortunate. I, but see, that'll so showcase tall. the range too. You know? <laughs> I'm really hurt, guys. <laughs> it's really in that wheelchair. My back is done. The, co- the horse kicked him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, he was close. It was uh, one of them like, did that just happen? What dang. the fuck? Yeah. Oh, the pole horse. Y'all scared him. We That boom like did. They don't like furry things. That's good. See, <laughs> I mean, help me out. It's, the little furry thing, you never, that you know, you because you see horses are scared of mice, real time, like they're scared of little objects that are furry. So, I mean, I'm for real. that's a true story. Uh, that was me and Sierra saying she did, she ran off too. Like, fuck that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Emory, you know, uh, I think my my studio audience sometimes they get a little sad. They say, and I want to see and that <laughs> see, but that's evident. I want to do comedy too. I forgot to throw that in there with the three. Oh, so you funny? Yeah, you funny. I'm, I'm a little bit. I'm a little, I got a little something in the tank, you know. So if you was to do comedy, like, would you be like stand up comedian in the film or just like no i'm talking about like a comedic comedic actor. movie yeah because i mean not let the vegas was kind of comedic yes. as well but we didn't get to really run that up how we wanted to yeah. Hmm. yeah that was a good one yeah I feel like i got a little bit of funny in me i think so too yeah a little furry piece of <laughs> little furry funny thing. in it's you a little furry, furry ball yeah yeah furry ball huh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know why I'm like this. I just <sighs> okay. So y'all well. needed this. this is a good little... <laughs> you sure you don't want anything? <laughs> you good? I'm hey. I'm happy to see you sipping. Well, let me do it again for you. And that was tequila, right? <laughs> don't do that because these people might think I'm I'm sipping juice. Oh, uh, cause you picked it up, kind of like a, yeah, whew, like it that wasn't be. no juice, like type of release. Well, you know, it's it, it, it is what it is. You know, y'all, cup. y'all get yeah, y'all like my cup. Yeah, mm, you like my cup. I like that. Yeah, okay. So it it could be anything in this cup. This could be water for all the viewers, know, right? Yeah, absolutely. Mhm. It's good. It is straight from the mountains. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. All oh, the shine. That was great. Mm-hmm. But then this other movie that loved you in, it was our actual first time meeting and mm-hmm. speaking. And that was for the premiere of Corruption. Yes. Where you are playing a district attorney. That was fun. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. That was, uh, that that helped me, you know, showcase the uh, the super refined side, uh-huh. you know. So I I got like the 
playful side and then refined and then serious. So that I was able to showcase that. And then just the research that came with even just looking up district attorneys, um, watching a lot of law shows, Law and Order, SVU, all that type of stuff. But I mean, that storyline to me was, I, I, it was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that storyline. That was really good. I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. And you dressed so nice. Thank you. That was all my stuff. It was? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, so. you got some cute stuff in your closet. Cute. Okay, I'm sorry. You got some handsome stuff? Uh, nice wait. Nice looking stuff. Just nice, look, nice looking. Because cute, stuff. that's like I'm wearing, you know, just some ribbed it's jeans. Childish. And, yeah, it's childish. Okay, like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say it like that. You have some very debonair nice wardrobe. attire. Thank you. That you featured in that movie. You like how I say that? Uh, that's it. Okay, yes. Yeah. I don't know what I just said. I forgot just that quick, but... <laughs> What I see, you look good in the movie. Thank you. That's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. You know what else I liked about what Teddy did with that film? Um, it got a soundtrack. Yeah. Teddy, man, that dude. That made me so happy. I had posted on my social media like a little while ago. I was like, where are the soundtracks and the playlists? Because I need that in my life. As a book reader, I'm the person that be on the author's heads. Like, hey, do you have a, do you have a playlist for your book? Mm. And so um, I'm just I'm accustomed to authors having playlists now. So now I'm watching all these films, and I'm just like, "Well, where the playlist at? Where the soundtrack?" But so you're a visual person, like when when it comes to books. Mm-hmm. So um, would you say you're clairvoyant? I don't think I would say I'm clairvoyant. Um, Clearly, maybe. y'all got to be able to visualize stuff to to write it down. Like that's. But see, I don't really write though. Okay. Yeah, I'm just, I like to read and, you know, envision what's happening in my head. That's so I get, a hold, kind of, I get yeah. a hold of the book, and if I can picture everything in my head, then that's good. But I don't necessarily want to write nothing. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's dope. So, um, since we have, um, well, before we pivot to some book discussion, I just want to um, reiterate that you do have Corruption. That's one of your latest films that's out right now, right? Yeah. Yep. That's one of the latest ones. And we want the people to watch it. But we just tapped into just a few of the ones that came out maybe within the last couple of months. But you guys, uh, you heard him. He he got like 20 some odd movies. <sighs> okay. So all you really have to do is just go on over there to the streaming network. You type in his name and all kinds of stuff going to show up. Okay. We, we don't have time on tonight to name all of the things that he is doing um, or has done, but we just want to tap into a few of them. Um, yes, and before we talk about some books, because you know I'm going to talk to you about some books, mm-hmm. um, you are going to be starting filming mm-hmm. here soon, and you tapped on it a little bit earlier, and we talked about it, but why don't you tell us about the upcoming project that you have going on? So the film that we are starting on Monday is called uh, I'm in Love with a Stripper. So that'll be starring Shelby, Shelby Lee, myself, Kamal Smith, Bianca Simone, and Zoe. I don't know Zoe's last name, but yeah, Zoe. And then the little child actor's name is Kennedy. Kennedy Kennedy I, Reeves, yeah. Uh, little girl, right? Little girl, yeah. I think, is she in Obsession in the movie coming up? I uh, might be. I, I don't know. She is. She's getting active. Yeah. Yeah. These She's might be really good. Coming up. Okay. Yeah. I think I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, you gotta interview her. She's nine and she can hold her own. I'm feeling like we about to have us a, a PG Tim telling tales. Yeah, juice. Well, you already have water. Yeah, right. You had a water with her. Water. Yeah. yeah. You got it. You have it laid out for you know maybe some snacks for. Her. Mm-hmm. She's cool. Like a little lunchable or something. No, I ain't gonna, I'm not nah, that's not healthy. Some babies. What? Okay. You eat well, lunchable? No, oh. I don't eat lunchables. <laughs> <laughs> Grown ass woman. I don't eat lunchables. Okay. Eat <laughs> cookery boards. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Yeah, that sounds better. Lunchable though. Yeah, lunchable. It's are a trash. grown lunchable. Okay. Yeah. So, but that's a good idea. I'm liking it. I really am. Um, 
Can you tell us a little bit about what I'm in love with a stripper is about? No. No, I'm just playing with you. <laughs> mm, I can definitely see you doing a role like a good man. Oh, the really? wrong one. Okay. From there, right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. you, you see what you did there? You heard my feelings the switch real up. fast. That switch up was, was crucial. You Aquarius, though, so y'all are kind of kind of like firewalls, you know, if we're going to get into astrology. But I, we don't have true. to do all that. I don't really, I don't leave with that because I, I think you're a sweetheart. Everybody is sweethearts, you know. Yeah, I'm pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> calculated sweet. That fair. was accurate? That's fair. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Y'all are thinkers, though. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. But, um, the movie. I can't really go into detail though. I like I, cause it's, you Just know, a uh, there's a it, okay. So it's a story that has me, Shelby Lee, come on, <laughs> <laughs> uh, never mad at Emery. Just, just and it's we we start on Monday and. Where we're gonna shoot until Sunday, so that's seven days. That's that's some information right there. We're gonna be shooting for seven days. Some we might be outside. We're gonna be indoors in different buildings. Let's talk about books. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cause <laughs> he's trying to play with me right now. I don't like it. Okay. So of course you know that Tam Telling Tales has a platform that I always try to dedicate to books in some type of way. Mm -hmm. And so we've talked previously and you mentioned that you like autobiographies. Mm -hmm. Are you reading any autobiographies or any other book right now? So I just cracked um, Jamel Hill's Uphill. Okay. okay. So I'm starting that. Um, the thing about me, I'm way more visual. So I like watching stuff more. Okay. So I'm, I'm the guy that, I start a book, I make it through half of it, and then I'm already almost like I'm changing the channel and pick up a new one. So that's so before that was Will Smith's book. Um mm. Yeah, so I'm I'm but twenty twenty four. Was you reading his book? I did like, read it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I had a physical books. I don't like the whole scroll thing. Okay. Yeah, I like to touch the pages. Okay. Audible's are good for driving. Yeah. Because, you know, over here on Tam Telling Tales, we always like to have our guests leave with a little something from us, right? And so I picked out Will Smith's book for you. I can gift it to somebody then. But I was going to give you the Audible because Audible Oh, I'll take that because I don't, dope. I told you, me flipping through pages, I'm like, I'm kind of ADD-ish at times. I want you to have that. I think you will really enjoy listening to it. And I'm not big on, um, on audios per se and honestly i'm not that big on autobiographies too much but i was like super intrigued by his i loved it it was like an audio drama so i just kind of felt like you know i could i could see him saying it and, yeah. and doing certain stuff it was very well executed and i think that you would enjoy it a lot so and can, can i also say this what so um have you ever considered being a um voiceover actor yeah i've taken classes on it um that's a, a niche market it's kind of hard to get into so really i would love to well we're gonna talk afterwards because you know we kind of connected over here when it comes to that book i would love to do that and we yeah. have um Narrator. we have some friends who have a um audible uh, website really? and they specialize in black voices wow and um, you know, having that might options be the, that, is something that I know for a fact that they're looking for. I would absolutely love. I I just met a guy um, last weekend that does it, and I've been talking to him about it as well. Like I like I said, I got training on it. So okay, we yeah. gotta talk offline about that. You see what we do here? That's all you giving me. Are you giving me food, books? Like what you want? Go get my Listen. purse. What you want? <laughs> I mean, like you. <laughs> you know what? I just always want to um, give people a space to just like come in and feel comfortable and relax. 
Because sometimes you never know what all is going on in somebody's world and their life, <laughs> you know? And if they can just have them this one little piece of our time to sit, tell them telling tales, have a little bite to eat, have a little drink, you know what I'm saying? Some good conversation. Yeah. Like, you just never know what good that might do. No, this is good therapy. So, I appreciate it. Well, I'm glad that yeah. you have. Yeah, this is good. I mean. Well, good. I'm so glad. That's what makes me happy. So, if you, what I want in return is for there to be better energy out in the world. Hmm. So, if you feel like you can leave here and just feel good and not, you know, have a scowl on your face or be mad or <laughs> be a little bit more patient with somebody, then ah, my job here is done. Okay. Then, of course, if you want to go ahead and read a book. No, I'm going you know, well, to pick it up when I get back on the plane. Or but, listen. But I'm going to listen to Will. Yeah, for okay. sure. That's going to be the, sorry, Jamel, I got to jump back you know and then i come back to that my my boy is actually uh, one of my close friends is her husband oh okay then yeah. all right then my yeah. friend we see you over there yeah okay well um before i let you go i would like for you to just remind everyone where they can actually find you on the social medias that you don't really be on that much but they can still find you <laughs> um so facebook is just emory lawrence so that's L A W R E N C E, and on I G that is Emery underscore Law, where you can find me at. Okay. Yeah. And then since we are talking about handles, I am Tam Telling Tales, and you can find me on all social media platforms at Tam Telling Tales. So make sure again that you are subscribed to the channel, that you are following me on Instagram, on Facebook, on TikTok, mm. on Threads now, actually. What's Threads? I know, right? It's all new one. So, <laughs> so before I actually go, I have a sign off. I say, I'm Tam. I'm telling tales. Read a book. And I would love for you to help me with that, Emery. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to do the first part. I'm, I'm Tam. I'm telling tales. Then you come right in after that, and we're going to say to the camera, read a book. Okay. We ready? Yeah. All right. I'm Tim. I'm telling tales. And read, read a, a book. motherfucking oh, book. Okay. okay well. no, we can do it over. <laughs> <laughs> we can do it over. <laughs>